So I've been a Miss Bossy Pants um, before I physically look like a miss. Um, that's a joke, don't worry, I'm not offended. Um, so I am a trans woman. Um, let's see. First time I've ever been a Bossy Pants would be at Edison High School. Um, you could catch me with my shirt tied up in the tightest pants I can find with eyeliner on, right? Um, that Miss Bossy Pants um, became a trans activist in Philadelphia. Yes. That Miss Bossy Pants has advocated for Latino rights, has advocated for Kensington, and will continue to do so. Um, that Miss Bossy Pants resigned from a job that meant a lot to her. Um, I was working at a once Latinx queer social justice organization, the second longest queer Latinx organization in America, um, found in the heart of North Square. I'm not gonna name it, <laughs> but you could Google it. <laughs> Um, so my bossy pants story um, starts when I begin that job. Um, my first thing when I came there was to speak loud for Afro-Latino people. Um, that was successful and it was great. <laughs> I had an executive director who was like, I see you, I hear you, and then he left. And then that started my new bossy pants journey with a new executive director, who, when I explained to her that I was Afro Boricua, decided to question my identity and question whether or not I was black enough for her. This is coming from a biracial woman with green eyes and the same textured hair as me. So I looked at that woman. And I said, well, if we're basing my blackness on my skin complexion, I was like, then you wouldn't be considered black either. I was like, we can both walk around lighter than a brown paper bag and, you know, and live in our privilege and be honest about that. I said, but if I live in a black experience in America, no, I don't. I will never claim that. I am Afro Boricua. <laughs> I do have a black Puerto Rican father. Um, and an indigenous um, Puerto Rican mother. Um, and the response that they, oh, I'll say her fucking name. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. Um, that bitch decided to look at me and say, aren't you indigenous? And to my response was, we fight so hard for people not to give us labels and here you are giving me labels. Um, my next bossy pants thing after that was to blast the bitch everywhere. Um, because not only did she question my identity, she decided to start questioning Latinos in a way that she had no rights or privilege to. Um, I would sit up here and say, yes, there is colorism in Latino communities. Yes, there is anti-blackness in Latino communities. And yes, that is something that Latinos need to take care of. There are black Latinos, there are Afro Latinos who need to take care of that. This bitch, she come up in the middle of North Square Latino community and goes, I'm taking down all your Latino flags. We used to fly these beautiful flags in front of, oh, you already said, so we used to fly these beautiful flags in front of. Um, that was her first thing. Um, I countered that with, all right, cool. So I'll just tell Latino people not to come here anymore and receive services, um, which meant the organization started to decline. And being a little Miss Bossy Pants to me, um, it doesn't mean revenge. It means if my people can't get it, then I'm not gonna have them coming here. So I boycotted them while I worked there. Um, prevented people, not prevented people, I told people not to go there. We weren't servicing people. We weren't focused on the health or the welfare of the people who lived in Kensington, a completely underserved and overlooked area. Um, 
I asked for grace um, and was told, Valentina, if you want to be a better trans activist, you need to reach everybody in Philly. And I said, well, nobody's reaching the trans women here in Kensington who are dealing with substance use disorder, people who are um, suffering, who are uh, unemployed, who are in the sex work industry, like I was in the sex work industry before. Um, no shame in that, right? Um, no, not at all. Um, for this woman to then give me a first and final write-up for defamation of character. <laughs> because I told her she needed to stay in her fucking place and stop telling Latino people what the fuck to do if you're not fucking Latino. Um, so my Miss Bossy Pants move for that was to put in my resignation. So I am unemployed. Because <laughs> um, I have integrity. I think every boss lady here has integrity, right? Um, left a great paying job for a bitch with no um, college degree. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> High school diploma. Um, and that's all. But I guess what I want to leave y'all with is even when it don't feel, if it, not even even, if it don't feel good, leave it. Whatever's meant to come to you is going to come to you. So if you like me and you've been unemployed and been waiting on your unemployment check from Pennsylvania, <laughs> it's all right. It ain't that deep. We find things. That's what a boss lady do. Yeah.